from Wired. They say Concord's death offers a bleak look at gaming's future. After ah. eight years of development, Sony pulled the plug on Concord today just after two weeks. Fans loved it, but seemingly not enough. Is the future of the industry blockbuster or bust? Gray, do you no, think I, that this is a good thing or a I, bad thing that, ha that happened? It's a bleak look at ESG gaming, but I, the way I see it gaming as a whole, it's healing. It, it, it's so astronomically fast. I think this is the fastest big budget game I've ever seen to be taken down so quickly. It's like... It's it's so fast that even so needed. Okay, let's just refund everyone. Like, because it, it, they, maybe if it was like a month or two, I imagine Sony wouldn't refund anymore. But since it's just two weeks, that's why I said, like, okay, yeah, even Sony, we got we got to refund everyone if we're gonna take it down this fast. So yeah, yeah. The the gaming industry, I see this as a healing point. I see this as healing points, uh, and uh, I really hope the new. Like I said earlier, a lot earlier in the stream, like I really hope the new leader sees this. And, yeah, we gotta go back to our roots. We gotta do single player stuff because that's where we we excel. And yeah, I I really hope they consider moving back to the head office to Japan instead of mm -hmm. California. I, and this Concord is a product of, for me, it's a Californian influence more than a Japanese one. Yeah. All right, let's see. Earlier this week, after uh, warping across the galaxy for 90 hours in the sentient spacecraft, Twitch streamer John Wismiller uh, realized that Concord was the best first-person shooter he played in a decade. Is this the guy that kept saying, like, Concord is pure quality in, all over it? I'm not sure if this is the same person. But Probably one... is, man. Yeah, yeah. Absolute pure quality. <laughs> And a few days later, it gets stepped down. It, it's yeah. hilarious. The gunplay was crunchy. The movement was smooth. The progression was rewar rewarding. Sorry, felt rewarding. I was even more enthralled by the world developers have created when I looked into the lore. No, no, th th this person probably <laughs> never even bothered to play Overwatch 2 or even or even Valorant. Like, maybe it, this is probably, this feels like a person who never, this feels like a person who just played hero shooters for the very first time that's yeah, how i man. see it yeah i i think it's freaking hilarious that these people are um think that this game is like oh like like they clear like, like i said they never ever even touched overwatch now here's the thing overwatch is extremely woke too but like i said they have hot characters like yeah. all the female characters are good looking even zarya I would consider, you know, I would consider Zarya, all right? She's a big butch muscle mommy. I, I would consider it. And uh, even all the guys are good looking, right? Concord, all the characters are not attractive, not yeah. good looking. And I don't want to, okay, the only character that's not attractive is Roadhog. But the thing is that Roadhog is a badass. So that's, that's a little different. Mm -hmm. But in terms of Concord, I don't want to play as a character that's fucking ugly and not badass. I just, I just yeah. don't want to. And if it does not drive me and bring me in to play it, then I'm not going to play it. It's marketing 101. It's, it's just, yeah. who is your audience? Yep. And the thing is, that it, are your characters cool? What is the cool factor about your character? Oh, the cool factor about the character is that they have pronouns in the bio. Fuck you. Yeah. Oh my God, man. He wasn't alone. One of the biggest perks about the game was the absence of toxicity within the player community, says Kel D's nuts. Yeah, um, the, the thing is, though, it's absent. It, it's absent with a community at all. <laughs> That's what happened. Yeah. You see, on, on Wednesday, less than two weeks after the game's uh, August 23rd launch, Sony announced it was taking Concord offline and offering full refunds to anyone who had purchased on PlayStation 5 or PC. While many qualities of the experience resonated with players, we also recognized that other aspects of the game and our initial launch didn't land the way we intended, wrote Ryan Ellis, Concourse Director at Firecock Studios, a division at Sony Interactive Entertainment. The thing is that they acquired Firewalk yeah. in 2023. Oh, that's really recent. Yes. They're like, oh, this Sony, like it was like February of last year. 
they looked into them. They're like, ooh, this game looks really good. We're going to make that, billions off of this game. That, okay. That's probably Jim, Jim Ryan. You impersonate Jim Ryan. <laughs> it's just that. Because not the new leadership. Like, that's 100% Jim Ryan. Because, like, I recall seeing that chart, like, the chart on, like, how much spending they're going to do in the games that, per division. It's like, single player games are, like, over here. And then Jim Ryan was, like, flexing live service. We're going to spend this much money. So now Sony's suffering for it and will be suffering in the near future. So the leadership right now, they have a lot of cleaning house to do in the coming years so that so that Sony can pivot back to the way they were. Yep, right over here. I was completely devastated, Wiss Miller says. We've never seen a first-party title from Sony get this kind of treatment. In fact, we've never seen any AAA video game get this kind of treatment. And that's what could make Concord a horrifying canary in the coal mine for gamers and game workers alike. It's unprecedented for a game of the scale to be shut down so quickly, says Liam, uh, Liam Dean, a video game a uh, analyst at uh, Amdia. Usually publishers keeps games that struggles at launch on their life support for a while, but Concord's case, the launch was so bad, there was clearly no way back. The game cost about $200 million, $150 million to $200 million. Yeah. Do you know how much Black Myth Wukong cost to make? $70 million. It has sold 18 million copies, generating upwards between seven hundred and eight hundred million dollars. Now, like I said, gaming char characters—if the characters do not resonate with the—if they don't resonate with your player base, no one's gonna buy them. And I'm yep. going to take a gamble right now. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull this up again. I'm gonna pull this up again. I'm gonna make sure I do not hit search. We are on rule thirty-four. Okay, I'm gonna type in Concord. It has 25 results. I'm gonna type in Black Myth. Black Myth Wukong has 87. Oh, even and Black Myth has more. <laughs> and I've and I've done my. I've looked into it. There's a lot of tiger penises, and I did not want to see this. But let's go ahead and talk about. The petition. There's a petition going on to re-release Concord again. Oh, that, that's new for me. We oh, are busy uh, uh, that week. Please re-release Concord again. I'm going to refresh this. 1582. We were all, <laughs> we were all Six, busy. <laughs> 1641. We were all busy that week. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> So they're trying to re-release it. Like I said, in order for a change.org to actually have any merit, to actually have any power, it needs to garner up to 100,000 signatures. Is it, though? Is, I keep bringing it up. Like, does this website really mean anything? In my opinion, it's not, not really. Even no, all we got under, yeah, 100,000, what? What is someone on change.org going to visit the office and, like, rally there or something? Yeah, I, I don't really... Uh yeah, I respect the good causes, but I don't. I seriously don't consider this website. This website is kind of like a nothing burger, in my opinion. Whether the cause is good or not. Yeah, it's uh, it's not good, man. It's not good, and uh, the thing is, I I want to show something. I want to show something. GameStop is actually pretty funny for doing this. I thought it was super funny. Oh, that that one I saw. Right over here, it says, was nice to get out of the house and leave the internet behind for a bit. Did a bit of shopping and finally bought Concord. Can't wait until Saturday, but looking forward to trying this game out. Yeah, there's even another one. like Right over here, like, GameStop says, I have some bad news for you. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to look for it. There, there was this one guy who bought, oh, I, I'm so sick of the haters. I bought Concord. And then the announcement of the shutdown came 10 minutes after that post. <laughs> <laughs> now, so the thing is that Ross tweets games. He got pissed off. And he said, you're the one who sold it to me. And GameStop sent him the <laughs> response with this photo. 
<laughs> Yo, GameStop, man. Yo, that's oh man. GameStop savage for this, dude. GameStop, man. <laughs> Holy crap. But here's the thing. Like I said, Black Myth Wukong has sold way more than this game. And the thing is that let's go ahead and bring up the image of Black Myth Wukong's characters and who they're based off of in real life. What is the common the uh, the common uh, denominator here, Gray? They look really, really alike to their real life counterparts, contrary to Western females. Yeah, I wonder why. And the thing is that, so like, thing is that the black, the, the black widow, the green spider, the other spider, the other spider. This one I'm I, I got mad at is because I got catfished, but you know the fox girl is pretty hot. Uh, Ken Jing Star is really good looking. Uh, Rock is really good looking, and you know depending on how big our tits are, I can I, I will consider it. But the thing is that they look like themselves. They actually look like the characters. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.